and the Modi Yogi double engine is chugging towards the dream of Ram Rajya with Ram Lala Virajman in Ayodhya now Lakshman's towering statue watches over Lucknow. Powered by Vikas and Aastha, today UP government says that it's dreaming of a $1 trillion economy in five years. Prime Minister and Chief Minister are fueling this Gati and building Uttam Pradesh, which reflects not just the aspirations of the youth, but draws from its cultural heritage. Uttam Pradesh ki dharti, apne sanskritik vaibhav, garov shali itihas, और समृद्ध विरासत के लिए जानी जाती है और उत्तर प्रदेश के एमपी के नाते मैं आपको भरोसा देता हूं कि उत्तर प्रदेश की आज की सरकार उत्तर प्रदेश की आज की ब्यूरोक्रेसी प्रगति के राह पर दृढ़ संकल्प होकर के चल पड़ी है प्रधानमंत्री जी के विजन के अनुरूप उत्तर प्रदेश की अर्थव्यवस्था को वन ट्रिलियन डॉलर की इकोनॉमी बनाने की दिशा में प्रयास का एक अभिन्न हिस्सा है प्रदेश ने पिछले पांच वर्ष के अंदर अपने निर्यात को भी दुगना करने में सफलता प्राप्त की है हमारे पास अच्छा इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर है लखनऊ पुण्य नगरी है लक्ष्मण की नगरी है उत्तर प्रदेश पुण्य भूमि है प्रभु रामचंद्र जी की भूमि है गंगा यमुना सरस्वती के संगम की भूमि है आपने अल्लाह के नाम के ऊपर इलाहाबाद का नाम था और मैं समझता हूं अल्लाह और ईश्वर में कोई फर्क तो होता नहीं थी, थीम देखिए अंदर क्या है इत, इतनी सियासत को इत, इस स्तर पे लेके जाना देश के लिए अच्छी बात नहीं बीजेपी के मेंबर ऑफ पार्लियामेंट हो या पूरी भारतीय जनता पार्टी वो इस देश का भगवा कर करना चाहती है वो इस देश को इस उत्तर प्रदेश को लखनऊ को जो कि एक डाइवर्स कल्चर का सेंटर है वो उसको एक रंग में रंगना चाहती है लेकिन समाजवादी पार्टी ने माननीय अखिलेश यादव जी ने हम लोगों ने बता दिया है कि अब नाम बदलने से नहीं अब उत्तर प्रदेश की जनता देश की जनता इस सरकार को बदलने का प्रण हमने कर लिया है दिस इज द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ भारतीय जनता पार्टी दे हैव चेंज द नेम ऑफ मुगल गार्डन्स वेरी रिसेंटली एंड एवरी वी आर दे आर गोइंग टू चेंज नेम ऑफ रोड्स टाउन्स दिस इज द हैबिट ऑफ भारतीय जनता पार्टी एंड आई स्ट्रांगली कंटम इट You're watching the news hour at 9. Debate number 2 on Times Now. Super Prime Time. This is across to our guests uh, who were with us uh, from the earlier panel as well as Vivek Sela, spokesperson of the SP who joins us now. Vivek Sela, let me start with you. Why are you linking this to saffronization? Because But actually the thing is uh, the, the people of UP or India they want development. You know there was a investor summit in 2018 as well just before the lok sabha general election and uh, there was a defense expo in, in 2018 uh, 1045 mou mous was signed that was worth 428000 crore rupees but in that ground breaking ceremony we came to know that only 38000 uh, crores were invested and this information was given by mr satish mahana then he was the industry minister on the 28th of feb 2019 on the floor of the house in the vidhan sabha here in lucknow only he also added that only 90 mous were realized instant uh, interestingly i'll just tell you there is a, a very interesting thing madhav he, there, there was a us based university from california that signed a mou of 38000 crore worth 38000 crore and that university okay. didn't even have a single student okay yeah, that that episode That's has it. been reported let me get in chantru on that chantru it's not quite ram rajya according to vivek salas please respond to him. yeah i think first of all uh, congratulations to the 25 crore people of up 
for having the largest investment summit ever in the country and i'm sitting in the investment summit uh, the whole city in vindavan yojana in one of the tent cities and i'm talking to hundreds of entrepreneurs unicorns who are coming here the big industries and they are amazed by the red carpet the, the kind of 26 policies the, the how uh, the single window uh, system the up government has created how in the morning when you just said when mukesh ambani uh, aditya birla kumar mangalam birla rajna ji pm and yogi spoke 10000 entrepreneurs in a big hangar listen to the pin drop silent right so up is changing way ji there are two days of session left do come to there <laughs> don't, don't don't be in this dilemma that what's happening up up is going to strength to strength and uh, and and now coming to previous investment summit 2018 he is right for a half lakh crore of investment was committed in the first ground breaking ceremony 80000 was realized in the second one 40000 uh, was uh, realized in corona there was a break then in the end of corona more were less almost half of that was already realized and some of the uh, 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 MOU is continued. About that, uh, that was not in California. That was in Austin. The Austin MOU was signed. That was not even counted in the current MOU that that uh, UP government is counted. They have already have a commitment of 22 lakh crores, which will make that 25 lakh crores by the end of the summit. So don't sit from your home. I, I'm sure if you live in Lucknow, <coughs> come here and see the 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 enthusiasm in unicorns and all the people who are here. Mr. Satish Mahana, Mr. Satish Mahana will tell you okay. who was the Minister of Industry in UP. All right. At least don't. If you don't want to believe me, don't believe me. You come me. here. You come here tomorrow. Me. You come here tomorrow and check. So, yeah. You come here. You come here. You come here. You come here and talk to the entrepreneurs. And what is the, how upbeat they are about Uttar Pradesh? On, on 27th of Feb, on the floor of the house, 2020, Mr. Satish Mana said there has been an investment of only 16,493 crore. I am talking facts. It's not superficial things that I am telling. You. Okay. All right, all right. Let's 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 move on. Let's move on. Facts. I, 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 May I come? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I want I want to bring in. I want to bring in other. Yes, I'm coming to you, Sanju. Just a minute, I'm coming to you. But I want to bring in Tessin. Tessin, what's to be uh, objected to as far as Ram Rajya? Are you also one of those who says that this renaming is happening only for political reasons? There are several cities in the country which have, uh, you know, been restored to their original names. From Mumbai, uh, where you have a close connection with, to Chennai, many of our big cities, including Bengaluru, have been renamed. So, is this really? too much of a hoo ha about nothing you know by all means as the as the vague pie rightly said please rename whatever you want to rename but the 2 lakh 25000 quoting government figures people who left india left indian passports high net worth indian individuals they were also bhagwan ram's children why they left india in this modi era last year i'm only talking about last year the year before that 1 lakh 63000 the 1 lakh 64000 ram's children who committed suicide most of the majority of them because of jobs they were also ram's children please please change whatever name you want but ram rajya is giving people jobs ram rajya is is rule of law out of the 2 lakh 25000 indians government figures who gave up their passport high network individual and have migrated to countries like america canada australia where taxes are higher than india the one reason they've all migrated is rule of law rule of law ram rajya was ragukul reet sada chali aaye pran jaye par vachan na jaye Ram Rajya was known for rule of law, and under bulldozer Rajya, there is no rule of law. The bulldozing the rule of law, the okay. bulldozing the constitution. I just hope all those of sign MOUs come and live in Uttar Pradesh. I want people to live in Uttar Pradesh. Shantanu, next time, please call me. I would love to come and live in Uttar Pradesh. Please do it. Tessin, were there people it? living? Were there people I... living from only UP or some yeah, living from yeah, Rajasthan come, also? Come, come to North. As, so some migration from Rajasthan also. And, and therefore, the yeah, honourable yeah. prime minister must address these issues very seriously in parliament, and okay. not say Modi versus all. You not responded to my question. You not responded to my question. Well, Tessin, you are running away from the question. Very easy to target uh, UP government, which is we are politically opposed to, but uh, tough to defend the ones that you support. I understand your position, but uh, let me go across to Sanju Varma. Hmm. Sanju, a number of facts from employment to law and order that Tessin referred to. Please respond to him on all of those points. Hmm. you know uh, madhav uh, first and foremost let me start with covid you know a lot was uh, spoken about terti hui lashe in the ganga and you know that was just a whole lot of hogwash as uh, shantanu uh, said you know up has a population of about 24 25 crore odd people the number of deaths every death count but i'm giving out statistics to call out the bluff of this cabal 23648 odd deaths about 24000 deaths in a state with a population of 25 crore people it was the uddhav thakre rahul gandhi sharad pawar led alliance which ruled maharashtra under the garb of nba uh, for the better part of covid and maharashtra population is roughly 11 to 12 crore 
How many people died in Maharashtra during COVID? 1.48 lakh. More than 30% of the total, P0, exactly. more than 30% of the total COVID deaths in India came from one state, Maharashtra, which was ruled by an alliance which had Rahul Gandhi as its central pivot point. So don't sit here and give a bhashan on law, healthcare, education, etc. Second statistic which I will give you. In the 15 years of BSP, led by Mayavati and Samajwadi Party's Akhilesh Yadav, only 437 kilometer worth of highways were constructed. In just five and a half years of Yogi Adityanath, 637 kilometers were constructed, 341 kilometers of Purvanchal Express and 296 kilometers of Bundelkhand Express way. And now to that you add 594 kilometers of Ganga Express way, which will be ready in the next couple of years, which means in Yogi seven or eight years, you will have 1,232 kilometers worth of express ways. There is in 15 years of Achilles Mayavati, you had only 437 kilometers. So the point is, right. when you sit here and give a bhashan, okay. you do some homework. Let me give a quick response. Quick response from Tessin on that. Yes, Tessin. Look, the fact of the matter is, if everything was so uh, hunky-dory in both in the union and in the state of Uttar Pradesh, why are there so many suicides on unemployment? I agree Rajasthan has a terrible figure, but Chhattisgarh has the best figure. Uttar Pradesh ranks worst in law and order. It ranks worst in healthcare. Niti Aayog report. So why has those not improved? Why are people leaving the country and giving up their passports? It's a big thing to give up passport. Mother, you and I won't give it up. Why are the rich individuals giving up their passport? Because there is no law, rule of law. Economic prosperity will only come when there is rule of law. And Uttar Pradesh does not have rule of law. By all means, change all means that you want. Neither Vivek or I are objecting to it. But kindly bring in rule of law and dignity of okay. life. That's all we are to quote, to quote from a phrase. Sanju Verma, to quote from a phrase that he made earlier, bulldozer justice is bulldozing justice. That, that, know, that's, that's, that's his claim. Please respond. Mother, you know, uh, Pesin, as I said, is the master of subterfuge. Today, the discussion was whether Lucknow should be named after, uh, you know, uh, Lord... Lucknow should be named after Lord Lakshman or not. But look, you know, he's deviated to law and order. If we have to talk about law and order, let me start by telling you one thing. You know, we are not talking about a kapu called Rahul Gandhi. There is a new kapu called hey, Ashok Gehlot, who for oh, eight mother, minutes... Oh. Red out last year's budget. Okay, let's, yeah. Your chief minister, Red out last year's budget. Okay, no personal, let's not get into, yeah, let's, let's avoid personal remarks, please. I've made this request to our panelists earlier as well. Ashok Gehlot, Red out last year's budget. Yeah, yeah. And you're sitting here and giving a bhashan to the BJP of political morality. You should be ashamed. Okay, I think the debate has again gone back to Rajasthan. Let me bring it back to UP and ask a question of uh, Mr. Silas. Mr. Silas, I'm just reading out what your party's colleague and member of parliament, Mr. S.P. Hassan, said earlier today. He said that, uh, in reference of Prayagraj, said that Allahabad was named after Allah, but you changed it to Prayagraj. You want to create divide within society. Is Prayag better than Allah? It's low-level politics, that too, in Hindus versus Muslims. Names are targeted only that are named on Muslims. Why names are being changed for just the sake of votes? Now they can demolish everything that Mughals built. Will they forget the work? that has been done by them, they've done a lot of work. The simple question I'm saying is this, while you may be sitting on the panel saying they change whatever name you want, your colleagues in your own political party have taken a very, very different view. They are saying that all of this has been done only with a particular political intent and to target a particular community. So do you condemn that view or do you hold the view that the name should be changed? I can just say if you want to change the name of, you change the name of the state, no? make it अब उत्तर प्रदेश उत्तर प्रदेश नहीं रहेगा उसका नाम बदल के स्वर्ग लोक कर दीजिए कि ये स्वर्ग लोक है यहां ये स्वर्ग है बैकुंठ यही है उत्तर प्रदेश में आप तो ये भी कर सकते हैं यू कैन डू दैट बट द प्रॉब्लम इज यू यू प्रॉमिस सो मेनी थिंग शी टॉक्ट अबाउट एक्सप्रेस वे शी टॉक्ट अबाउट बुंदेलखंड एक्सप्रेस वे जस्ट विद इन ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स ऑफ वेन दी ऑनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर इनोग्रेटेड इट एंड देर वॉज अ रेनफॉल इट संक विद इन ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स You, you, you come and see the you come and see the flyovers of you come and see the idea I didn't interrupt you that you we, we, we all saw it all the channels showed it you, you come and see the flyovers of Kashambi and Fulpur you come and see the you come and see the flyovers of Kashambi and all right that is why you guys but we we all know what happened in the election soon after. What you're saying may be factually true and perhaps the BJP should respond to it, but the fact is we all know what happened politically right after that. <laughs> exactly. You could still not get yes. more than 111 seats. 
You could not get more than 111 seats. Fine, done. But that is not the question here. We got 37 and a half percent vote in Uttar Pradesh. You 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 managed 41. Okay, it's fine. Okay, fine. But you yeah. say if Samajwadi Party. But then why are you not as opposition able to convince the people, sir? If things are worse, why are you not able to convince the people? Is an important question, isn't it? No, that is a, that is a, that is a, exactly what I am trying to tell you. Okay, last the question. The party, but I think that's the a question that's the, the way that's acts. a question that Shantru must also answer. Shantru, change everything, call it Swarlok. A rose by every other name would continue to be a rose, or something as bad uh, as Vivek Sailas uh, says. As the situation is on ground, will continue to remain as bad. Whatever names you may change. Quick response, Shantru. So in, in UP, the UP, the condition is also changing and the names are also changing. And name is a very important important thing. We all had a Namkaran ceremony when we were born, right? So no, let's not show away names. Names are changing constantly in many, many of the American cities. Okay. Uh, the King's Roads and Queen's Roads were changed to Rajpath and uh, Janpath by the Nehru government. So okay. don't, there is a huge significance to the name. All right. We'll have to leave it there for the moment. Uh, Sanju Varma, Shantanu Gupta, Vivek Salas, Tessin Punawala, we'll have to leave it there for the moment. We'll have to see how all of this plays out in coming days and what really is action taken on ground by the government there. Thanks so much for joining us this evening.